Dumbitten <laughs> The GUP program, which is named by its goal, graduating out of ultra poverty, is motivated by the belief that being poor is not about, it, it, the problem with being poor is not just one simple thing. In fact, if the problem with being poor was one simple thing, we probably would have solved it already. Maybe the problem isn't any one of these things alone, but them all together. And so if you solve one but not the other, nothing really happens, or not much happens, I should say. So here in Ghana, the basic study was to do everything all together. And that everything included an asset transfer. Here's, here's four goats. About six months of consumption support, training on how to raise the, the livelihood, life coaching, access to health care, and lastly, there was access to a savings account. The studies are in India, Pakistan, Ethiopia, Ghana, Honduras, and Peru. At the heart of the program is a transfer, a gift, a grant of a productive asset. The most common one in Ghana were goats. PWR process, that's participatory wealth ranking. The community here, they rank their own members from very rich, rich, poor, and ultra poor. So the whole community will be aware. And everybody will reach a consensus that yes, we selected the people who are extreme poor. So we give you four goods. Then we give you one bag. Very good. So one set of goats. That is the options you choose. Fowls and goats. Okay. okay. Next question. We know we cannot end poverty, but like we should move them from one level to another level, from the extreme level to some level that they should be able to provide the basic, especially the feeding components. Each morning, they should be reeling these animals to see how they multiply. We are training them on that, educating them on that. Then they should be able to use these animals for meat, for their sacrifice purpose. They should be able to use these animals to pay their children's school fees, taking care of their health issues and all those things. Mumpo Mag Bamalan fan. The mother by a tashel to Marsa. 
an to fi din ban kwai in zan mala mu an ji nyala bai yi ga mai to ya ba an ka bi din lo mu ma mu san to fi shir kwai da jere in zan ga bani a wani song tai yake din yi je shi amma da sun so Bidjela de chahla ba fiya. Hmm. Zo no je shin ka fa ka ku ci de ka la shi. Mai so ka mata. Aba de kama sa kam za tuna ta. Tra ku ji mi. Tin ji yan wama. Ar burayin nan shi ma ba mi. To ka. Bata kana ma in wuhte. Ni biyan son. A son sun ma ma shir kana. To dinin su. Ta zo ta la drama mbo. Weekly, they do savings. The women, especially, they all want to involve themselves into that. I'm just paying in clients' savings for four weeks. Now. That's one month savings. The community, the women, they have approached me, wanting me to be visiting their household just to pick the savings for them. Some of them they try going to the bank to go and withdraw just five CD, just to test whether actually that that is true that my money is going there. They don't know they like whatever program. They say my money was in computer, so they all had that courage. That that means money can be saved this way. Omi okaya, ori sahane bjenu ama. Iyi zang shinkaf ma nong nong nong. Den yina katiti. As someone who been in the field for a very long time, collecting data, analyzing the data, and interpreting the data, what is the impact? Sometimes I ask myself, do you prepare the person to just respond what you want, or you want the person to actually tell you what he's actually feeling, and then you'll be able to come out with it as an evidence? So if you are doing the qualitative method, you are trying to bridge the gap. Between the researcher and then the community or the person you are researching into. So that is our chairman. Thank you for your help. All the communities were having community chairman. Was this person identified through the, in the PWR process, or was this after that? Uh, it was during the PWR process that you found yeah, the person. We asked them to like nominate the chief, the chief and the people to nominate somebody who be, be a caretaker of the. Community in terms of our program, so they during the period we are then the nominated chair. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Good nah, afternoon. Nah. Good afternoon. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. nah. I know to say nah. 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 Oyolina Dean. Eh. Wanya to ba. To to mama ba mbala. Eh. To zuk dan mbala. Nda si shimkafa kanya ti. So picture wise. No kuag dera dera ma karigirna. Ampire intir bihlaja. Okay. Thank her too for her time and sharing her experience with us. So, no bono bokala pi ten la yam pil program ma to mama. Singafa rice process and then goats. Yeah. 
And has she done rice or goats before? But it is generating income for her. <laughs> As we visit, well, so we see some people have gotten that edge, yeah. courage to continue, just, yeah, to shoot. Right, and when some people just, just, it helps, uh, yeah. but it's not life, it's not massive changes, right? exactly. but it still helps. Maybe in the next phase, we should be able to know from them what exactly they can do after our project they should be able to continue right and that it doesn't work amazingly well for everybody yeah right yeah it hurt nobody and that's actually a striking finding yes mm -hmm. but that there was clearly some people that were made much better off than yes. others yes i have a question sometimes to ask myself with the sample you pick and you are saying you are researching do you actually have it in mind that after the findings you get from the small sample you are doing, will it be able to actually meet the needs of the masses you are trying to replicate to? So here you go. This is now three years later. The pooled results are up by about 0.25 to 0.3 standard deviations, which is a huge shift. Think about a one, if you take someone who's at the median in the population and you shift them one standard deviation, that's like jump, that's like leaping them over 34% of the population in terms of where they rank in wealth. The integrative package was critical for helping them take on that asset, and grow that asset, but not stop the other things they were doing. So we learned two really important things about the asset. It is the heart of the program. It is necessary to get it right, but it is not sufficient to do that and only that. We've learned a lot about a basic core project that does work we have further questions about how to make it work better. But we, we know that this type of program at scale needs to be run by government. And this is why we're so excited to be working with government to help them take these lessons to a much larger scale. It's one of the best I've seen in terms of the content and the value and which places emphasis on empowerment, on, 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 on security, on, on all those parameters that were used to determine where we've gone. And more particularly to close up the inequality gap so what the gap seemingly is saying that to the extent of the inclusion, if we give equal attention to all, in any other intervention should be an addition and not a replacement, we'll be able to bring people up very strongly economically. It becomes a model. <laughs>